Yeah. So far, you know. He's but, number three now. Yeah. And um, just behind Biden. I haven't, and, read, uh, I haven't read all of his, you know, I've gotten his, policies and stuff. His big things, you know. Um, curious, though. I am yeah. curious about what he has to bring. Because a lot, a lot of it is the same shit. And I'm not saying the same shit in a bad way. But yeah, I'm yeah. Saying stability. Yes, we do need this. But, yeah. you know, it's like. You picking from a bunch of people who are all giving you the same thing, but they're calling it in a different way of saying it. So it's like, yeah, right. yeah, you know, it's like so we all got the same destination. It's exactly. just, are you going to get in a boat so or are you going to take a plane? You need to wait some time let it pass yeah. before you can finally get to know their character a little bit better. Right. The thing about, you know, thing about I think that's what's hard for a lot of me and stuff, or the Yang Gang too, because like we watch everything. Like we watch all of his videos. So like, yeah, we know him. And then we yeah. talk to people yeah. expecting that they have watched and seen everything and exactly. stuff. Exactly. And it may not be on the same page. And, yeah. And, and it just says, the truth is, it's like, you know, I, I'm not exactly, I like Joe Biden a lot. I've always liked Joe Biden. But, yeah. Um, yeah, he is, he is, I mean, I voted for Bernie Sanders last time. Yeah, um, me too. I'm not saying his heart attack has, has anything to do with him being able to run the country. Right. Look at Trump, he's fucking disgusting and fat. I don't, I just, I mean, I think what the people are going to do if they're going to try anything is they're going to vote for someone that they know has history when it comes to things like foreign policy, when it comes to things like dealing with the, the Senate and the, the fucking House and dealing yeah. with these assholes that don't want to get anything through. And Joe Biden, he's got that, he's got the reputation because he's got the years on it. Now, if I had to really put more of a, I really like, I really think that we need to spice this up and throw some like wild cards in there. I really, I really do like people who judge. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's, I don't have an issue with someone being gay or not. It's still, yeah, that's yeah. what I don't think. But you know, I think he, I think he does know what he's doing. He just does, he's got a great background of of, being, of of support, of knowing, doing the right things. But right, just, right. He got one negative slap on his wrist because of that whole shooting or whatever, and then he not handling it appropriately within a time period. He's still young you know, too. Like he hasn't done. He hasn't. He doesn't have a lot of accolades. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you know. But and that's the thing. Kennedy didn't have a lot either. He was right. very young too, but I'm so I'm not saying what I'm saying is like I think a perfect, perfect thing in my mind I think is if we had someone like the Warren I do, I never liked Warren, but I then I still have to kind of gain a little bit on Warren, but she's kind of goofy. I think somebody like the New Jersey's a vice president. Yeah, that'd be and not then bad. Having you know an idea was you know uh, that was came through my mind is that Elizabeth Warren and the people to judge, but. You know, I, you know, I unfortunately I think Bernie is too, too left, too. It looks too socialist. That's cool. my argument because like a lot of the I'm Yang and the Bernie guys are the that. same people. But the thing with Bernie compared to Yang that I always say is that uh, Bernie has a lot of friends in Washington, right? He's got mm-hmm. a lot of enemies too. That are people that go against him just because of the socialist thing or whatever. Yeah. So even if he's powerful and does for the people, he still has a lot of people there. And I, and I like, I, have more, I really do like Bernie. And I really Me too. Do, I, I don't have an issue with the socialist thing. He's not doing anything, I think, from college, I think he yeah. should be right. And I don't care if it seems socialistic. I just think, when you use that word, it's almost like a label that people need to draw that's right the, from. Yeah, that's the problem, and I think yeah. Bernie is not, he's going to throw a bunch of money at this by getting a bunch of Bernie support. It's, it's, he's going to go all the way to the primaries, but he's not going to make it. I, I unfortunately, That's what I'm afraid of. not going to make it. I think, I think, I think Yang's going to have the effect that Trump did where uh, they're not taking a lot of measurements because they're only taking these polls where if you have a landline. What's that one chick? What's that one chick? Uh, Klobuchar? There we go. That was the one. Klobuchar is president. We would judge his best people. Take her away, Warren. I didn't mean Warren at all. Oh, okay. Seriously. I'm saying she and him. She's got attitude. She does. She's from the Midwest. I can she's tell. Like, attitude, <laughs> and she seems like she can be fun and happy, but she can play ball when she has to play ball, and that's... I just, like, when I go to their websites, they don't have any... Aside from Bernie, Warren, and Yang, you they don't have... Name, correct? Yes, sir. Okay, cool. They don't have any... Uh, you your suit, you never got you. Thank you. They don't have any real policies. Like, they have, like, what they want to do. I'm listening. Yeah, no, I got you. Yeah, but they just don't, like, lay out the plan. You know what I mean? Like, where they actually tell you why we're doing this and this is how we're doing it. Yeah, you can say, hey, you want to do this, fix this, fix this. Well, show us the, how you Yeah, show it. me the plan, lay it out, man. Lay it out for That's, me. Lay it out for me. And the unfortunate thing, actually, I don't think she's done That's done okay. Done. Thank you. Um, I appreciate you. The thing I think is that 
you have more, you know, one to, one has these great plans about everything. Like, oh, we're gonna fix this. We're gonna fix this. Yeah. You know what I mean? We're saying we're just gonna fix it. I. And then when she does, it's like failed ways that other countries I have think tried Yang or something. Might have a chance to show. He might be a good wild card. But the I think problem so. we have to remember is every time we have a wild card, when it comes to two different parties, mm. if you vote for the wild card, you ain't voting for the party that needs to win, and so you're losing those votes because of voting on that wild card. Mm. You know, like, oh, we could have Bernie, but everyone, or, you know, people would say, oh, Hitler wants should win, but everyone's voting for Bernie, and so all those votes are being going to the wrong right. spots. So you, know, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. It's like, you know, I was, like I said, what I, I would say for, for like, the last thing I'd say for Yang is that he's the only one that's well him and uh, I think Bernie as well are pulling more than 10 percent of Trump voters as well as uh, Andrew Yang is the only candidate that 90 percent of voters have said they wouldn't have a problem with him being president like no one is angry at him like if he's the nominee we win what experiences Yang so he's have? been a he's been a business guy. yeah he's he uh, was he ran a non-profit for the last like 10 15 years world ventures so he's been starting businesses in america and part of him running for president was because no matter how many businesses he started he could see that he was just basically filling a bathtub with a giant hole ripped at the bottom mm-hmm. and automation in is making it hard for minimum wage or even college to be effective how do you feel about uh I'm sorry for cutting off. no go ahead about, uh, you about Bloomberg and how you feel about that other guy. <laughs> you know, I, I, I like, like Steyer I'll tell you what, when he speaks. I like Bloomberg. He has done some stuff. He has done some stuff. He, I mean, I smoked, but yeah. I smoke, but I mean, he, he has dealt with the tobacco commercial. Yeah, that commercial is very effective. I, he has actually I didn't done see that. Stuff. I heard it. I didn't see but it. But same time, I, you're, what I can say about Bloomberg, like, he, for me, he literally. Like I know he's big he's name, and, but he right? came out of nowhere. And he's he's like proving the problem. Yeah, you know, he's literally he just buying ads. And, and Steyer too, but when Steyer the, speaks, he he's the occasion. He can make, right, yeah. You know, that's propaganda. He can make what he wants to make, and that it's because of him that they actually raised the price on commercials. So like when candidates were running their commercials, since he was buying so many, the network cable networks uh, raised the prices on everything. Okay. And then it made it harder for the other candidates to run their yeah, exactly. their stuff because they don't have billions. But I'd say between I I don't know I think he's doing it for like a status. But I think Tom Steyer is actually doing it because I I think he cares a little bit. I don't think he has all the answers, but I think he I like I think he's passionate. But where when I see Bloomberg, he's always just like yeah, sitting in his cares, chair. He's yeah. like yeah, there's another million. Have you, uh, have you ever seen um like uh, Portlandia with uh, Fred Armiston? Uh, he yeah, he does an impression on Saturday Night Live, but he's not on Saturday Night Live anymore. But he does one. Um and he yeah he does uh, Bloomberg and he just things <laughs> <laughs> drink whatever. And it's like it's like he acts and speaks as if he knows he already has it. And whatever it is. That's unfortunately not what we need. You know? Yeah, no. I think really what it comes down to is if the Democrats give enough of a shit to come out and vote, yeah. actually serious enough, they talk about them, but they don't pull through like they should. I mean, they did for this last, uh, you know, midterm. Just a little bit, but, but not. If we can do it, I think all it really cares to people is getting him out of the office. And that's that's that, why that's I feel a, like that's Yang a, that's is a, the that's a disappointment though. Just, right, it shouldn't be to somebody out of the office. Oh, so not trying to do it because of actual, you know, actual. If like, you notice, you versus you have better and it's like, okay. and it's like the only reason why we're you know the only and why we're impeaching them is not because we know we're gonna get them out from impeaching. Right, impeaching. It's right. because we have to try and show and stand and say that is not okay for anybody. You have to, you, yep. can, you know, you can't do whatever you want. You know. It's just, this thing is so crappy. It makes me sick. That's why I feel good about him because he's the only one that doesn't bring up Donald Trump. He he only brings up the problems, how we can fix them, and that's why I think the media has a hard a hard time with him because he doesn't. He's not a lead bleed if it leads. He's he's very on it on the issue. But now now the fundraising and the polling, I think they're gonna have no choice. And when these other candidates have to pull out to go back to their mayor jobs or their senator jobs. You're gonna leave Biden. You probably have Warren because she still has money. Uh, Bernie still has a lot of money and he's powerful on the ground. And then you got Yang with the money and the uh, internet and the fundraising. So I think isn't it crazy all this where all this money is coming from? Dude, and, people and are like, showing up. People are mad. That's what that's what's good is that not that they're mad, but 
that people are involved. Like people are like, okay, we seen we seen the mask come off a little bit. We're not gonna take the whole hood off. Like I'm I'm, I'm happy that at least people are involved. You know. Yeah, and it's just I wish if some of that money had go. It's, you've got all this money, yeah. yet why don't we? Why are we putting it? Some Anywhere. Places where, why are we? Why? I mean, yes, it's cool. We Did you see please. that he gave ten people the freedom dividend? I didn't see that. So he used his campaign funds after the second uh, yeah. to to give ten Americans the freedom dividend for a year to show what is the, free- I don't know. the freedom dividend is a policy where every citizen gets a thousand dollars a month until the oh, day that, they die. Yeah, that, that's yeah, that, that is something I've been, one of the big points I've been wanting to look into that is is like what you know what's that all about whatever and it's like, basically about raising the floor so that when the average american right now cannot afford an unexpected four to five hundred dollar bill and if your dog gets sick yep. or your t- or your tires fall off your car you can't pay your mortgage or maybe you're in between paychecks yep. that's when most of us fall flat on our butt or, or if you're like me and yet they won't give you financial aid because 10 years ago when you were a teenager they you messed up right so like there's just little things that we can do to this money is a is a buffer to make sure Americans don't fall flat on their face and make sure that people that are homeless and poverty still can at least feed themselves or clothe themselves. Fine. Stay home moms can take care of their kids, disabled veterans. It stacks. Okay. So and it's uh, I'll be around here, so just let me know. And it stacks on top of uh, social security for the elderly. Yeah, and so, um, it's basically instead of doing a program, it's giving us our tax money directly to us, so that our own each community can decide what it needs, and each person can decide what they want to do and free up their time. And you know what? It's, it's messed up because I have my lyrica cost me four hundred sixty-five dollars, and then where was I getting the money for that? And then my parents are having to you know borrow me the money using their credit cards and it's like yeah but now they're finally at the point where we have barely we're, tr- we're eating stuff every night because we're trying to money to fucking you know and yeah. so it's like now i finally got badger care and then i'm thinking oh so, so and, then, me, and then i find out the badger care is telling me you can't have that because you make like covered. yeah or what happens to me i i don't make enough money so i get into programs or i get credits and then if i get a raise at my job or something then I lose those things because they say, "Oh, now yep. you make now you make fifty dollars more than." I'm like, man, but I'm still hurting. Yeah, you, you can't know? raise like, minimum <laughs> wage because if you raise minimum wage, then you don't fall into the category of, of getting the certain things that you need to pay you to pay your bills, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Well, the big thing, if you go to most places, what do they have now? They have kiosk. You know, there's everything is self doing it yourself. So if you raise the minimum wage, you're basically telling companies, hey. You should make an investment into a kiosk or some other machine because you're going to save money instead of paying this person $15 an hour, you know, and it's just so that's that's pretty much this big thing is taxing the companies like uh, Amazon and Facebook that pay zero in taxes literally every year. And you see that Amazon's coming here? Coming here where? Um, I don't know the exact. Oh, yeah, they're opening up. Uh, they're I know you're talking about. Fulfillment yeah. Thing. Yeah, it's strict. I mean, there. I'm not saying I own. That's saying I don't enjoy, uh, you know, Amazon. You know, you, you use yeah, Amazon, we all use Amazon. <laughs> you know, yeah, it's not. It's a double edged sword because I know that it's not exactly right. You know, they're, they're no. not getting doing the right work practices, and making people up, and kissing my arms and shit like that. It's, it's not. Yeah, and that's not. that's what I learned is that it's not that like it's evil people doing it. It's just that we as the American people have allowed our system to run amok. And that's a good thing about not just the freedom dividend, but uh, the democracy dollars. Mm -hmm. So like to get away from corporate money, every citizen would get a hundred dollars that they can only spend on a campaign. This way, if Bernie Sanders gets 50, even 500 people behind him, that's $50,000. And now that $20,000 check from Exxon Mobil doesn't look as enticing. You know, it's it's just about returning the power to people, and that's partially why uh, it's not, they yeah, exactly. keep them quiet. They don't put them on TV. Okay, Fox okay. News grills them, and then MSNBC just ignores them and doesn't even put them in the polls and stuff. It's but we're we're changing it, and that's what's good because he hasn't made enemies throughout this ride. Isn't that though? I mean, it's just you know that trickle down effect. Don't do shit. It doesn't yeah. Work. Stop telling us it works. Stop acting like it works. The, I read the read the, the the most wealthy people got an extra trillion dollars or five trillion. One, it's either one. And then there's five. only like thirty of them, right? Like it's yeah. not even a lot of people. So all this money is going into one crack in the sidewalk. Just think about all the people we can help. 
all the people who could get help, it's not trickling down like they say it is, and then we end up being fucking fucked over. Yeah, that's why the the thousand dollars is a trickle up, because the company they're still gonna get their money. They're still gonna get like think about a company coming to this country where every citizen's getting that money. You're you're gonna benefit. You know, that's why some people argument was like, well, if you raise taxes even a little bit, they're going to go to China where slave labor is actually getting out competed with with automation. Yeah, we're getting fucked with China. We, uh, we are now. We are and we will in the long run unless we start doing something. They pick the minerals and all that all that special fucking resources to protect the technology. Yeah. We really we That's why they're giving it away for free to all the poor countries. Just gave it up, just like that, and I wish, oh, screw over. I mean, we just I, have to invest in like, us again. I don't act like all upset because, like, I'm just saying, I'm like, dude, we're gonna get fucked in the future. Bad. Very bad. And I don't know what we're gonna do to fix it. They said in the 30s, you had a, I think it was 70%, or no, 80% chance of do, doing better than your parents did. Since the 90s, it's been less than 50%, and it's only going down. We'd been you know what's fucked up? My sister works here. She's a uh, enrollment marketing lead. Like that sign that you saw? Yeah. My sister, or like that, my sister made those. Oh, um, nice. oh okay. She I see. wanted to, she tra- she, she actually interviewed for uh, Yearly Mass. Because she wanted to Yearly Mass. She's a. Oh, they, okay. You know, uh, she's an international studies major, which she doesn't even use the bachelor's degree for that. Um, but what I'm trying to say is. She went to UW Madison for a job interview to she's trying to make money, right? They didn't pay one off for as much money as the as MATC's offering. MATC's offering her a lot of money to do her job. And UW Madison for a job very similar or of similar like management, high management level, they weren't, weren't offering the same amount of money. She was like, no, I'm, I'm not going there. So she lives with she is married to a guy who's an electrical engineer who has special Special government clearance. I mean, government clearance. Yeah. You go to military bases, do things that we cannot, you won't think we could ever do. Right. Goes to Australia half the year to work on special development shit for engineering. He, he, he's big time, makes a lot of money, gets like $40,000 in bonuses for a year. Just bonus. And then, I know, can you believe that? 40000 I mean... And then, Damn. and then our family can't even doesn't even have a hundred bucks in our checking account. Isn't that crazy? And my sister's still off Dude, from that. I can't even save because like, then my I literally what I say I get my dog gets sick or then that's the four hundred dollars I save and my car hurts or something. It's just it doesn't stop. And that's when you end up having to do things like with your dog man. Yeah, like and, that. and that's that's what's what really sucks is that's not. That's the biggest reason why I'm going to college now, because I don't, I can't, I can't keep doing what I'm doing. You know, it's not sustainable. I know, you know, I always wanted to go back to school. I'm 30. I mean, I'll be 30 in May. I always wanted to go back to school. I just didn't know I, what to do. You know, I heard, I heard, I heard from an office, I can't, I can't type fast and stuff like that. I yeah. Know my arms all messed up. But, you know, I, I don't know, I just, I, they weren't going to help me. They weren't going to help kill me. Um, they did everything they could. They injected sugar in my neck. I think that's why I did the Erica, just for my peripheropathy. Yeah. And it helped. It could manage it, but my hands shake. And they, they just numb. And they feel painful. I can't raise up my arms too long from just an excruciating pain. Um, and I'm a drummer, too. So Dang, this so like your passion, too, then. Yeah, so I can't. I haven't drummed in you know, over at least a year now. It's, it's pretty sure. And Damn. I am. Uh, See, I I really appreciate that. I'm done. I'm done. I'm gonna get out of here. I don't oh, know. No, I'm not. Oh no, no. I was just trying to make sure that. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. No. Um, yeah, but I mean, I drum, you do know? you mean that's 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 what the freedom dividends for? So, so I, that I, you I, have I, a little I, boot the boot off to your neck. You it's know like what I mean? It's like I, could, I like my I figure out what to get on with my life, what to get on with my life. It's like just give up on all this. Right, stuff. only having enough time to work. You know, I then. thought I could heal back to uh, 100%, but nope, now I have to just give up. And well, what does it take to heal back to? You need to not be here all the time. Or, you know, you can be mobile. And you yeah. Have to, you know, doing daily life stuff. You know, the things that you take for <coughs> I like to call, I like my hair comb and all that crap. Yeah. But that's so it sucks to do it. It hurts. It just hurts. And why, why, 
I think you think of stuff like, why do you put your foot so bad? I don't know. It just it does. Like, putting your arm back when you watch the movie or what? Right, dude. It's all messed up. You know, I'm a boxer so, and I hurt my neck it. for like three months. I didn't break it, but I hurt the uh, plates in there and like, I was just, I couldn't move for like a week. I actually couldn't move and it was just like you say when you're talking about like put like. I couldn't believe how, how grateful I was when I could return to being able to lean and do this. Like, that, like yeah. little things, man. Exactly. And so it's like, oh, and then they end up just saying that's all in your head at one point. And it's like, oh, oh, shit. In my head. They're saying you paint is, you know, pain is black, no pain is white. She, they're saying, oh, boy, your pain sensors have been so damaged, everything is gray now in your brain. So when you think you might be feeling pains so when you're not feeling pains, so and we have to retrain. Oh, you know, I, I read books that, 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 I, that they want me to read to try and tell me that it's all in your head, blah, 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 blah. And I read them and I, and I tried to believe in it, and I tried, I tried a lot of things, and it just ended up yeah. not working out. And so I ended up to the point where I'm like, yeah. You know, and so it's like I gotta step back up. I gotta do something. Like I gotta do dropping out and want to live in you know poverty. I don't, right. really don't want this shit anymore. And just struggling. And so it's like, yeah, I got a lot riding on this. I can't screw it up. And it's like, oh, sweet, the job opens up here. It's like, oh, good. You know, and it's like, you know, don't pay a lot, but pay something. You know, and it's like, now I gotta pay for all these meds. I gotta take from take my meds. I'm not gonna be mentally healthy. And I'm, I'm going to a dark place there, so I gotta stay medicated. You know, so it's like you know, yeah. trapped in a cycle. So you can either look at life being completely terrible and you want to kill yourself, yeah, yeah. or you just end up trying to go down try to smile and just keep on trucking. Now that's it's all you, you know, can do, bro. Yeah, exactly. What's so, your name? My name's Sean. Here, Sean? I'm Marcus. I, Marcus Johnson. This if you want, man. Yeah. Um, and you know, it's kind of silly, but yeah, no, I'll find you. We'll chat more, bro. Uh, yeah, I just, I just like you think I. Yeah, we try. And Bro, I, got I promise you. You see this? I do this every day. I'm fighting for you. Okay, as we're man. fighting, for, that's what like I'm doing, that. bro. Ah, I actually like that. We're gonna. Ah, I actually like that. We're gonna. Ah, I actually like that. I actually like that. I actually like that. We're gonna make sure that you do this, bro. Yeah. We need to fix this from the floor up. Yeah. Until the next time, bro. Cheers. You good? In my water. Good. Oh yeah. Thanks, man. Oh yeah. You have a good night, bro. Until next time. We may have just secured a single vote for it took me oh maybe it's I don't know how long I was chatting with the homie but if you were watching the chat you heard all the problems right that's how you open the door because when you're talking about Andrew Yang to people they go from skeptical to curious to interested to understanding and as long as you don't attack people you can sh help them understand. It's it's when I first seen Andrew Yang, I thought the same thing. I was like, that's crazy. You're just gonna give people money. Can help people in their own situations. It makes perfect sense. Cause if they if the money wasn't the answer, why did they all want it? It's at the top of the hill. But the work's at the bottom of the hill, right? So, Yang gang, baby. Yeah, yeah. You too? Yeah, yeah. 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 Do you want to say hi? Sure. Yeah. Say what you want to say. My name's Gabe. Gabe. Been gotta... Yang Gang since before the first debate. Big fan. <laughs> it's a long time. Yeah. Well, me too. Still I make videos good. every day. Really? Yeah. yeah. Oh, almost 10,000. Mine's got like yeah. uh, 1,500 though, and I'm just starting mine, so Hardcore. it's going to go good, man. You want to find it, bro? I'll show you where it is right now. Sure. You got a phone? It's uh, Yang Gang, one word, okay. space. Is this, and, what is this on? Uh, Facebook. Facebook, okay. Yeah. And then... So yeah. Yang Gang, one word, space, Andrew, zero, two, zero. Let me see. Yang Gang. Make, uh, make that one word. Oh, uh, yeah. My bad. Andrew Yang Gang, 2020? Yeah. No, no, no. That's good. Oh, man, put the 2020 together. Sorry. Oh, you're good. Don't worry. That's me. Cool. Yeah. yeah. And you can check it out. Uh... I'm going to do it right now, actually. But I make videos every day, man. If you Sounds can, good. we're just trying to share them. Because I think today's the last day. We got to get these polls. Mm -hmm. We got to get these polls so that he can qualify for the next debate. Otherwise, yes. we're going to have to go on Joe Rogan. <laughs> 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 Which is okay. But obviously, the meat of the people that are voting are not there. Yeah. You take uh, care, Gabe. I'm Marcus. Marcus. Yeah, it's nice to meet you, brother. The Yang Gang is in the building. 100%.
See y'all later. I, I hope it. Andrew Yang wins to get y'all some money. Yang gang, gang gang. Andrew Yang, Andrew Yang, da 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 da. Hey, twenty. Andrew Yang, Andrew Yang, da 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 da. How is done? All right, Yang gang, I'm about it here now. I know I was losing signal up in that building. I just chatted with the homie. Uh, I just met him. What was his name? Sean. I got his card. He gave me his card. Chatted with the homie Sean. He was not for Andrew Yang in the beginning. <laughs> Watch the beginning of this video when, it, uh, when I'm done going live. Watch that transform. Watch it transform. We need to talk to people. We don't need to talk at people. I, I, I did a lot of talking at the end, but you notice here's the thing. You can't fill a pot when it's boiling, right? You cannot fill a pot with new water when it's boiling. So you have to you have to let you have to let the pot boil. You have to let the pot lose some steam and you have to let the water go down a little bit. After that pot is boiled and the steam is lost and evaporated, yeah, you can put some more water in there. And that's how the conversation is. People are blah blah blah, they want to spit and they want to go 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 so you when they when they spit it out you got to let them spit it out let them speak their mind their passion their thoughts their feelings once they've calmed down a little bit they've got it out of their system then you can kind of talk and then you can kind of make some points and you can uh not argue but debate if you will and uh even at work when i'm at work and i got a long ass line because i'm a cashier when people run up i don't let them yell their order because everyone's just waiting to get to the front and yell their order at me right i, I whoa what's your name please can i get your name it slows them down. Oh, here's my name. Is this for here to go? It slows them down. It slows them down. And then I can talk with them more civil about their order. But in this case, Andrew Yang. So, Yang Gang, we don't have a lot of time. We got to grind. So let's go, Yang Gang. Meet someone. Go do something. If you're watching this video, why are you watching this video? Go do something.